Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. They want to know if it's possible to use two Google services.json files in an Android project. Specifically, they're curious about merging files with different project information to utilize both analytics and ads in a single flavor. Plus, they have a similar question regarding Google service info.plist files for iOS projects. Let's dive into this challenge and explore the possibilities. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Yes, it is possible to use multiple Google services JSON files in an Android project, but you cannot merge them directly. Instead, you can configure your project to use different files based on build flavors. To set this up, you need to define your product flavors in the build.gradle file of your app module. Here's an example configuration. Next, place your Google services.json files in the appropriate flavor directories. For example, create a folder for each flavor under SRC. Now, when you build your project, Gradle will automatically use the correct Google services.json file based on the selected flavor. For iOS projects, you can use multiple Google service info.plist files similarly by creating different targets for each flavor. Each target can reference its own plist file. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, you can use multiple Firebase app configurations in your app. For the default configuration, use the Google services.json for Android and Google service info.plist for iOS. For additional configurations, you'll need to set them up in code. For iOS, use the Firebase Options class to set up your app. Here's a quick example. Create an options object with your app's details and call firebaseapp.configure with a name. For Android, use the initialize app method with the context, Firebase options, and a name for your app. This allows you to manage multiple Firebase configurations easily. For more details, check the Firebase documentation for both iOS and Android. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.